Hey guys, I'm Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to um, brand yourself versus branding your company. So I'm going to guess that there is more than one person that works for the company that you work for. And so the thing that sets you apart from everyone else in that company because right you can all sell the same products you can all use the same products you can all use their regular old marketing materials but the one thing that sets you apart from everyone else in that company is you you're the difference so when you're branding you shouldn't be branding the company you should be branding yourself because people have a choice. They have a choice that they can buy from you or someone else that represents the company, but they're going to choose to buy from you if you're branded as you and not branded as the company. I think a lot of people make a mistake of using very generic wording, very generic flyers. It comes off as very salesy and not like it's really about you, but more like it's really about um, the company and what the company has to offer. The company has the same thing to offer to everyone. The difference is what you have to offer as being a member of that company. So as coaches, we have a choice. We can simply guide someone to our website to purchase something, let them purchase it, and walk away. We can totally do that as coaches. But we can also guide someone to our website to purchase something and help them every single step of the way. Use that product, see results, lose their baby weight, get into their skinny jeans, feel better, have more energy, maybe gain muscle. Whatever their goals are, we can help them. Um, you are the missing link between, you know, just being a sale, and being effective. So I hope that you'll choose to brand yourself instead of brand the company that you work for because you are special and you are different and you have something to offer. Have a great day, guys. Bye.